I think uh, the corporate priority for 2015 are going to be the same than in 2014. There's no change. We just need to bring our performance higher on overall opinion. Still a very important objective. I'm talking about overall opinion, car by car, market by market, which involves everybody uh, at the level of the company. Second is TDC, so the total cost of the vehicle. This effort in terms of being competitive will continue. And third, obviously, pursuing our uh, sales offensive on all the market by gaining the market share and having the sales tactics necessary to have a sustainable growth. Uh, so you see, it's not very different from 2014. Now, if there is one thing particular I would like to stress for 2015 is probably on overall opinion. The meticulous, articulate, specific contribution from each team, whatever we're talking about, product attractiveness, or we're talking about product quality and customer satisfaction, or we're talking about awareness of the product, which supports impactful marketing campaigns. All of this will need to continue to be enhanced. We, we know that nobody can predict the price of oil. Nobody predicted where it is today and nobody knows exactly where it will be one year down the road. But there's one thing which is not going to change, which is the emission problem will continue to get more and more serious. The restrictions coming from regulations from different governments across the globe are going to get tougher. There is no way uh, nobody is going to be able to meet these emissions re restrictions and regulation without having an important percentage of the sales in zero emission vehicles. We need to continue to develop the infrastructure for EVs and charging stations and we'll continue working on increasing the effectiveness of our EV technology, including battery range. These investments will pay off over the long term and should not be dictated by the roller cost price of all. So our strategy do not change, we stay the course. The overall trend of the BRIC countries is positive. Obviously, on the short term, we're going to see bumps and we're going to see from time to time some disappointment. That's the case today of Russia, uh, for a lot of reasons that we know, and of Brazil. 2014 has been terrible for these two markets. I don't think they're going to be great for these two markets either in 2015. But does it mean that we are just giving up on this market? Not at all. In these two markets, still, the level of motorization is way too small compared to the potential of the country. In Russia, we are at about 300 cars per 1,000 residents. Russia has at least the potential of 500 cars per 1,000 residents. In Brazil, uh, we are a little bit below 200 cars per 1,000 residents. And again, Brazil, uh, no reason for Brazil not to be at the level of a country like Portugal, for example, in, uh, uh, in, in Europe. China continues to grow. India is growing again. So we stay the course for BRICS, knowing that it's not going to be linear. Uh, from time to time, we're going to have some tough patches. We just need to continue to develop our strategy in order to make sure that when the market picks up again and continue its course, we'll be there. More than 2 million full-size trucks are sold in the U.S. every year. But there is an untapped potential in America's pickup segment. Uh, first, of the 2 million plus pickups sold annually in America, one quarter are in the heavy-duty category. And the wide majority of those heavy-duty pickups have a diesel engine. Of the 1 million plus light-duty trucks sold in the U.S., zero have a V8 diesel engine. Until now, if you wanted a V8 diesel, you simply didn't have an option. Each year, 75,000 U.S. buyers move up from light duty to heavy duty pickups. However, just as many people move the other way. That's about 150,000 owners who are struggling to find the right truck. For many of these customers, the new Titan is the truck that they have been looking for. It fills in the unoccupied white space in the market. With the 2016 Nissan Titan, we were not just going for in class. Uh, we are really creating a new class and positioning ourselves at the best offer.
2014 went down as the best year ever for Nissan in the U.S. with almost 1.4 million units sold, an increase of 11%, practically twice the evolution of the market. Due to this performance, we have performed according to analyst expectation from a financial standpoint in the first half of 2014 and will announce the third quarter uh, next month. We don't intend to slow down or become complacent or parade in front of the initial victories. We intend to keep pushing, fighting as we move closer to the 10% market share in the U.S. because 2015 is going to bring to us another exciting year with all new products such as the recently launched Murano and the upcoming Maxima and Titan, which are all products with very big potential, sales potential, financial potential we're going to be uh, very important stones toward the 10%. And again, the 10% is a milestone. It's a very important milestone for us in the United States. I still think that what we are building for the U.S. in terms of infrastructure, product, technology, team, team of people internally and at the level of the distribution network should allow us to aim higher. But first, we need to reach this important milestone of 10%.